Hi everyone, this is Mohammed Kubaib. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Virtual Desktop alerts. Alerts are very important in Azure or Citrix Virtual Desktop infrastructure and it will help us to monitor our infrastructure proactively. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on the future videos. So in this video we will cover how to configure alerts for our memory, CPU and storage accounts. When we talk about Azure Virtual Desktop alerts, there are two things we have to take care. First one is action group and second one is alert rule. action group is where we are defining where to receive the alerts either over email or as an SMS as an pop-up message in the Azure application in the mobile alert rule is where we are defining on which resource we need alert whether it may be on my VM or it may be on my storage account or it may be on my disk and then on which condition I need alert for example if my CPU is going above the threshold or memory is going above the threshold or storage account is reaching the threshold so we can set the alert according to the conditions so these are the things we are going to define in Azure alerts so that whenever it reaches the threshold we should send an email or SMS or a pop-up message in Azure application. Let's see how to configure alerts in the portal. So we need to search for alerts and go to the alert blade and first we need to define the action group. Here we are going to define our email address or SMS or application details to receive the alerts. So here I'm going to select my resource group. I'm going to enter it as AVD action group. Then select notification. I'm going to select email, SMS, message and push or voice service. Under this, I'm going to select my email as a notification type. I'm going to enter the email address so on which I'll get the alerts. I'm not going to define any SMS or mobile application at this moment. So my alerts or notification will be delivered to my email uh, email address. Click OK. Enter email over here as well. Click on next. So do not select anything over here unless you require anything like automation or Azure function such things but for our example this is not required click on review and create the validation is successful and now let's create the action group so now my action group is ready so I should be able to receive notification over my email if any alerts getting generated so now action group is created and if we go to our email we have received a notification saying that you have been added to Azure Monitor action group. So let's go to the alerts rule and create an alert. We'll go to monitor and under monitor we need to click on alert rules. Let's create an alert rule for the memory. So here we need to select our subscription and the resource type. So I'm going to select my resource type as virtual machine. So either you can select the uh, subscription so that it will apply on all the virtual machine inside my subscription or you can choose resource group. So in my example, I'm going to select the resource that is HP VDI-0. But in a production environment, you can choose either resource group or subscription 
so that all the virtual machine in that resource group or subscription are covered under the alert rule click on done next and here we need to define the conditions so I am going to select memory available memory bytes here I am going to define less than or equal to that is the maximum so I am going to define 2 GB so the meaning of this is let's say my virtual machine is having 8 GB memory so if the maximum available memory is less than 2 gigabyte that means let's say out of 8 GB my VM is consumed 7 GB then the maximum available memory is 1 GB right so that time it will generate an alert or let's say your virtual machine is 8 GB and it consumed 6.1 GB then it will generate alert but if it is consumed 5.8 or 5.9 GB then it won't generate alert because it is greater than 2 GB so it will generate uh, ge it will generate an alert whenever the maximum available memory is less than or equal to 2 gigabyte let's click done click on action group here we need to select our action group which we have created in the previous step so click the action group select then click on details so here we need to define the type of alert either the critical or error or warning so I'm going to select as critical if the memory is less than 2 GB available then it should generate an alert as a severity critical I'm going to enter a rule name memory alert then review and create click on create so now whenever the memory is less than 2 GB available in this particular VM it will generate an alert and send it to my email so that I will get notified so my memory alert is created now so let's create an alert for the CPU the scope I'm going to select as virtual machine I'm going to select the same virtual machine over here as well and conditions I'm going to select CPU I'm going to select percentage CPU so here I'm going to select if my CPU is greater than equal to 80 percent whenever the average percentage CPU is greater than or equal to 80 percent and it should generate an alert so I'm going to click done click on action and select the action group click on next and here I'm going to set severity as critical alert name CPU then review and create so now I have created a alert for the CPU if it is going above 80% it will send an alert to my email address now we have alert for CPU as well let's create an alert for our storage account here it is our storage account and this is the share and the size of the share is 100 GB so let's create an alert if the share is reaching 80 GB then we should get an alert so let's go to the alerts and we'll create an alert over here select create and here scope we need to select our storage account so we need to type storage so this is our storage account and this is our file storage we need to select our file storage click done 
to go to condition here we need to select capacity so this is the one we have to choose file capacity so under dimension name we need to select as file share and here dimension value we need to choose our fs logics profile that is the share inside my storage account if i go to my storage account you can see file share we have this file share inside the storage account so we need to select the share and under condition uh, alert logic we need to select if it is going greater than equal to 80 gb then we need to generate an alert so it means whenever the average file capacity is greater than or equal to 80 gb then it will generate an alert so click done under action group select the action group which we have created on the details I'm going to set it as a critical and I'm going to enter the alert name as storage alert and we'll hit on review and create so now it created an alert for our storage account so whenever my share reaching 80 GB then it will send an alert to my email address so that I will get notified so now we have created three alerts for memory storage and CPU let's go to our virtual machine and we will try to initiate a load so that it will get overutilized in terms of memory and CPU so that we will get alerts now I have launched the VDI so in this VDI I am going to download a software called CPU eater this will generate a CPU load and also I have downloaded test limit software which will generate load on the memory so I have downloaded and I have extracted the file so if you can see here test limit and CPU eater so let's run CPU eater so this is my current utilization that is 7% so I'm going to run the CPU eater so I'm going to set it for 400 seconds it means more than 5 minutes so our interval for the alert is 5 minutes so I'm going to generate it for 400 seconds let's start this as you can see my CPU will get overutilized for 5 minutes similarly I am going to generate load on the memory as well test limit this is the tool we are going to use so I have opened the command prompt and I have pointed my command prompt to my download and test limit and I am going to enter this command test limit dot exe d 7500 so this is the memory limit you have to choose in my example my total memory is 8 GB I am going to enter a command to utilize memory for 7500 MB it means almost 90% I believe so before entering we will see what is the current utilization of our memory so it is 21% the moment I run this command it will generate load on the memory so as you can see it is almost 94% so let's run it for another 5 minutes so let's see after 5 minutes it is able to generate a alert based on the usage of memory and CPU now as you can see I have received alert for my memory as well as CPU utilization so if I click this it will give you the details this is, this is the details about the memory alert so it will tell you the available bytes available and the threshold so as you can see as you can see the value is 1.6 GB approximately which is less than 2 GB so that it generated alert so let's go to the CPU alert so this is the CPU alert so if you go to the value 
here the value is 92 percent and we have set a alert for 80 percent so if it crosses 80 percent it should generate an alert so in this case it it is crossed 92 percent and that is the reason we have received the alert so this is how we configure alert for our cpu and ram utilization so so similarly in the portal also we can see the alerts which is cpu and memory utilization alert so that you can check in detail so if you click on this it will give you the details about the vms so this is the vm on which we have received the alert and and I as you can see the utilization the report over here similarly for the memory if you click on the memory it will also represent all the details related to the memory utilization so as you can see it was 5.2 GB and during the alert generation as you can see the available memory was only 1.64 GB so whereas in other case as you can see the available memory is 6.8 GB over here and here it was 5.49 GB etc so this is how we set alert for memory and CPU utilization in Azure let's see the alert for our storage account here I have a file which is of 10 GB each and I'm going to this file to my storage account so by default my storage account size is 100 GB so we have created an alert saying that if it crosses 80 GB it should create an alert so I'm going to copy this to my storage account I'm going to copy the same file multiple times so that my storage exceeds 80 GB to generate the alert so if we go to our storage account and if we refresh our share size so you will notice that the size is getting increased over here under properties as you can see it is now 68 GB and the total size is 100 GB so now again we are copying the files so now it will exceed 80 GB let's refresh our storage account and we'll see whether it is exceeded 80 GB as you can see now it is crossed 80 GB so technically we should get the alert as you can see we have received the storage alert now so if we click this it will give you the details about the alert as you can see here our threshold is around 80 GB and uh, the value is around 94 it means it crossed the threshold that is the reason it generated the alert so if we go in the portal here also we can see the storage alert so this will give you the complete information about the value which crossed the threshold as you can see at this point it crossed threshold that is the current value is 94 GB where our threshold was somewhere around 85 so this is how we create storage alert for our storage account thank you for watching the video